Russell Dickerson. What's up, Russell? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, buddy? What's up, bro? I'm great. How you feeling today? I'm I'm pretty good. I was somebody had asked me, and you could probably figure it out. We don't have to say, but somebody in our similar professional community had asked me a few months ago. They said, "What kind of guy is Russell?" And I'm thinking about wor- working with them. And I was yeah. like, I was say, I said that guy. He works hard. You tell him what time to be there, he'll be there. He has a great attitude, and he will perform, like no doubt about it. And okay. that is how I describe you whenever you wow. were not around, like a hardworking, good dude. And that relationship ended up happening, and so mm-hmm. all is good. But that's what I think about you. Now, what do you say about me when I'm not around? Go ahead. <laughs> Dude, honestly, hardest worker in the room, always shows up with a smile, motivated, yeah. you know, changes the atmosphere of the room Boom. for the better every time. We like that. Russell Dickerson, wow. here he is. That's right. Uh, he's got a new What's record. That, that is, <laughs> his new record is out today. Now, it's self-titled, but it's your third record. Why now? Um, You know, that's, uh, that's the million-dollar question. Honestly, I just feel like I picked 15 songs that I just freaking – love that i've listened to over and over it wasn't like oh this will be a great rec radio record or this will be a great i don't know like psychedelic mm-hmm. hip-hop record. you know what i mean like it's just russell dickerson there's no it's not like this crazy genre defining thing it's just like it's just me it's russell dickerson mm-hmm. i'm glad it's you because if i bought a russell Dick- dickerson record <laughs> and, it wasn't. and it was like dylan scott <laughs> or kane brown i'd be so confused <laughs> 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 uh you are six four is that accurate i am yeah can you tell me something difficult about being six foot four um airplanes dude airplanes are tough i mean every time you stand up as soon as the pilot lands like welcome to nashville bam hit your head on the freaking overhead compartment mm-hmm. every time so about for the second time you do that probably you know that yeah you're you yeah. learn you learn quick. Yeah, then, yeah. Just, you know, every plane is different. You don't know how much clearance you got. Mm. And uh, sometimes they're lower than you think. What about standing at ball games or concerts? I would imagine you can't oh. do that as freely because you are a tall guy. Dude, so many looks, so many, so many just passive aggressive huffs under their breath, you know. I'm like, just say something. Like I'll sit down. I don't mind. But uh yeah, always, man. I'm just I, I try to make my way back in any room. Like, I always, obviously, in pictures, always in the back. Concerts, you know, try to be respectful of my ginormous self. Yeah, that'd be cool to be ginormous. Mm-hmm. That is jealous. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool to be ginormous. <laughs> I'm jealous. Is it important for you to co write the songs now that are on your records at this part of your career? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's just, it's. I feel like there's, I've found such a great group of people that help me just pull out the best songs and stories and push me and to, to go deeper, to dig like emotionally deeper. And yeah, I mean, I, I think if it's the right group of people, I think it's incredible to, to co-write. What about kids music now? You do have a son, he's getting older. And now that the music is growing a little with him, do you think you could put out a pretty cool kids record? I think I would crush a kid's record. I honestly think about it all the time. I'm like, these songs just need like a sick beat behind them. Mm-hmm. Like, like they're too they're too straight. You know, I need they need some like some hi hats and some 808s. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about kids' music the other day. More 808s. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kick drums. More, mm-hmm. more 808s. Mm-hmm. The kid, give the kids what they want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Russell Dickerson's on with us right now. He, his new album is out today. It is titled Russell Dickerson. So if you search for it, you're going to get it. But what about, I mean, it's just, it's you, right? It's just you and your name, the album name, but the name of every other song you've ever done is under Russell Dickerson as well. Is there any confusion there when we type that in? Uh, I mean, it sounds like you'll just get all of it. Yeah. You'll so just was, get the full so Russell of. Dickerson experience. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that is quite an experience. Hey, what was it like? the first time you went out with Tim McGraw and he called you out to do the song at the end in his set? Oh my gosh. I mean, we were, so all the openers came out on that song and we were all just sitting backstage like, is this really about to happen? Like, I was, I literally earlier this year before Tim McGraw asked me on tour, I was covering I Like It, I Love It. Like, I played it in the set every night and 
the fact that how quickly a year can turn around. Like, I'm just covering this guy. Next thing we know, we're on tour Tim McGraw, and he's calling us out on stage with him to sing I Like It, I Love It. And it's just this, I, I, I don't know, that's kind of like an unexplainable feeling, man. Russell Dickerson's on, and I looked up the top five most Google questions about you. Now, sometimes these can be a little dicey. Would you like to go through this with me, or are you, I would love or are you nervous and scared? You can pick either one. No, I'm I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, how long has Russell Dickerson been married? Ooh, nine years. Great cool. question. Cool. Number two is Russell Russell Dickerson's new album good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not for me to decide for you. You got to decide for yourself. Mm-hmm. Why isn't Russell Dickerson nominated for a CMA? Ooh, see. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's your answer here? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I have an answer for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, take it from somebody who's been blackballed. You're not blackballed. You're still very well loved, and I don't have yeah. an answer either, Russell. You should definitely okay. be in the mix there. I'm just letting you know. Uh, has Russell ever performed at an awards show? No, I have not. Not even like CMT Awards? Oh, no, no, no. You're right. You're right. CMT Awards, the new artist. Yeah, on the stage. The new artist thing. Yeah, I know everything about him. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then finally, better than I know myself. Finally, the final question about you is: Russell Dickerson, the country singer in a tank top. <laughs> wow. I, okay, I'm glad this is caught on. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is me. Hi, it is. nice to meet you. That's right. <laughs> there he is. He's got a new record wow. out today. I'm going to ask you this final question because we were playing some of the clips earlier from the record. Um, mm-hmm. Of all 15 tracks. Mm-hmm. If someone says you got to play one of the tracks and this really is the one that represents this record and where Russell Dickerson is today as a creative, what track do you tell them to listen to? Mm. Honestly, I would say the first one, Blame It on Being Young. It's uh, that, I, can't, I think that just kind of shows the depth of this record. Like a lot of my songs, you know, I'm kind of like the country love song guy. But this one, this one goes like way deeper back into my life, like 16, 17, all the dumb stuff we used to do. And it just, I, I don't know. I was, I was able since COVID in 2021, like able to dig way deeper, go, you know, just dig deeper into who Russell Dickerson is. And I feel like that song brought out a whole new uh, perspective of who Russell Dickerson is. We're going to play a little bit of Blame It On Being Young right here. Okay, Russell, album's out. Love it. Good luck. Uh, CMAs are coming up. Are you going? I think so. I think we're going to be there, regardless of the uh, no nominations. <laughs> Thank you, Google questions. I think that uh, means people are wondering why you aren't. The people are upset right? about this. Yeah. I mean, I feel, I feel, I feel loved. Mm-hmm. I mean, the concern makes me feel loved. Mm-hmm. And then do you know what you're wearing? Can you give us a little heads up on what Russell Dickerson might be wearing to the CMAs? Um, that is a big TBD. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, my wife is at the Kitchen Island right now, scrolling through ASOS, mm-hmm. trying to find a dress to wear. <laughs> I like where we are right now in this interview. All right, the new album's out today. It's Russell Dickerson, clap your hands for our yeah. Russell. Yeah. Russell, congratulations, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Love y'all. All right, see you, Russell. Yeah. Bye. It's, it's about 